Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 2K12. The first thing I do when I pull the game out of the box is I go to my player. So you can see I'm making Timmy Timmons. Now you guys know that I like to make Sandlot characters for the my player mode. Timmy is the one who played first base. Like if you can remember, there's the two brothers, the older one and the younger one. And the younger one copies everything that the older brother says. I'm playing as the older brother. Now you can see I'm going to be an all-around player. Not really going to do anything too special because that's really what I want to do is just be an all-around type of player. Yes, I am finished creating Timmy Timmons. Alright, so let's take a look at what team I'm going to be playing as with Timmy Timmons. And I go with the Mets. Alright, so because I am playing franchise mode as the Detroit Tigers, I think I basically am a shoe in to the postseason. So I thought it would be kind of cool to put together a player that may be able to rebuild a team single-handedly. So I thought the Mets would be kind of cool just to play as and uh, kind of see if I can do any improving here. Now, taking a look initially here at the game, I can tell that already it's very different than what we've seen from MLB 2K10 and 2K11. Because what they've done is right when you begin my player mode, the first game that you actually take part in, you're like in this position where you have to, uh, I mean, you're in a clutch setting and you got to bring in the winning run. And if you do, you get a boost. But they just take you right on in to a full game. And I kind of like that. First swing of the bat is a base hit for me that's not too bad that the first pitch that you have in your professional baseball career ends up being a base hit and also an rbi as well that's not too bad i'm liking the way that this game is starting out here uh, hopefully this will continue to be the case now because timmy timmons also played first base in the sandlot that's the position that i'm going to be playing here in the game as well i have the secondary position as second base just because i'm going to be playing on the right side of the infield, I was thinking about maybe doing shortstop like I did with squints, but I don't know. You guys voted. You wanted to see a first baseman, so that's what you guys are going to be getting. Now, having played the demo and that really being it, this is really my first kind of look at the game itself. So taking a look, a lot of things are basically the same. It was kind of what I was expecting because when I was playing the demo, the demo didn't really seem too different at all from MLB 2K11. So 2K12 kind of is very, very similar. I do see some differences on here, but I'm kind of excited about that. Now, if this is your first time kind of seeing what my player is like on, ML on an MLB game, basically what happens is you start off at the double A level. Now, there's, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky you did not catch that. Otherwise, we would be talking about a double play right now. Anyway, so there's different levels of baseball leagues major leagues is the best then you got triple a double a and then you got some below that as well but you start off in double a because this is like my first game as a professional baseball player and so of course they're not going to start me in the big leagues i got to prove my way or i got to uh, prove that i'm a good player and work my way up the ladder to get to the major leagues so of course you start off here in the double a that's kind of why uh if you're like i said if this is your first time kind of experiencing what my player is like on a 2k baseball game you probably don't recognize any of the teams to be honest i don't even know any of these teams because i don't follow double a triple a kind of a little bit because i live in lincoln nebraska and the omaha storm chasers are not too far away and they're like the triple a kansas city team so i don't know that's like the only experience that i have anyway i thought that guy's name was harry carey and i was getting super excited about that that would have been a great player to do. I might have to do that sometime. Do Harry Carey. All right, I know it's two outs. I decided to run back just because I didn't expect any kind of error right now. And it's kind of at the part of the game where it's totally cool if I mess up because it's not like I'm playing in the majors. Gosh, that's really interesting to see. My batting average is a 1,000. Very rarely will you ever see that. So, man, I stick my head up and run. Dang. Anyway. Goal for this one, don't strike out. Yeah, smart call. That should be the goal every single time. That's another thing that I've noticed as well. The goals really haven't changed. Uh, one of the things that always kind of frustrated me with my player is you have the goal, like, don't strike out. Well, yeah, that's always going to be the case. Or get a base hit. Yeah, you always want to get a base hit. But I don't know. Gosh, is this going to be another hit? Nope. He's going to catch that one. Man, I was going to say, two for two. That's how you start off your professional career. 
All right, so here we go, taking a look at a fielding situation. Here's what first base is going to look like. From a fielding standpoint, you can tell it's very different, of course, from when I was playing shortstop, because now I have to worry about a base. Anyway, oh, that pop fly. I was not expecting a pop fly. I was expecting a ground ball. Now, the thing with first base, of course, is I'm going to see a whole mixture of different things. I also have to worry about the bunt. That's actually going to be something very different from... MLB 2K11's my player that I did at shortstop because I didn't necessarily have to worry too much about the bunt like I have to do with Timmy Timmons. Oh my gosh, it's 10 to nothing in the fourth inning. Wow, we are destroying this team. And there's another base hit for me. Wow, this game is going really, really well. I was not expecting this. Because also, to whoa, I'm going. Maybe that was a bad idea. Why am I just jogging? Oh my gosh. I shouldn't say I was jogging. I was yogging. Anchorman quote right there, you guys. Anyway, that was kind of dumb on my part, but you got to make mistakes early on when you're playing this to kind of figure out what your guy can do and what he can't. Apparently, Timmy Timmons is about as slow as you can get. All right. Ooh, I got the dive. Wow. Could have touched the bag, but I got to put on a show for the fans, so toss it over to the pitcher. Actually, I totally overstepped it. I was trying to make up for it. Gosh, 10 to nothing. That's insane. Everything about this game is like what you would want in your first Major League game. All right, so here I go stepping on the bag this time. So I'm expecting a lot of those type of plays as well where I just step on the bag. There's really nothing too exciting. From a first baseman standpoint, I think, uh, especially when you're talking about the infield, it may be... No, I take that back. I was going to say it's like the potentially the least exciting position to play by way of fielding but catcher that's just bad uh, in all the MLB 2k games it's like whenever you play catcher it's just a bad position to play because everything is going to be just right there in front of you it's like a little bunt or it's a tiny hit that just bounces like a ton of times or it's like a pop fly but when it is a pop fly there's a very strong possibility that somebody else in the infield is going to take that catch from you. Like you're standing where you're supposed to be, and somebody else comes by in the last second and just grabs it and takes it away from you. All right, step on the bag once again for another put out. And we are in the sixth inning. Wow, this game's taking a little bit longer than I thought. But that's all right. Kind of gives you a look into the game in a little bit more depth because my player mode, I think, is one of my favorite modes in the game. So I know it is for a lot of other people as well. So this gives you, I guess, a good chance to take a look. Now, of course, you only get the first baseman's perspective. You really got to play around, try some different positions to kind of see what you can do. Um, I'm expecting over the career of Timmy Timmons, I might move around periodically because that's something that's cool. You can kind of change your position. So when I get to the Mets, um, who knows? Maybe I'll kind of move to the outfield and see where I can help out. But anyway, here we are, eighth inning now. Whew, swing and a miss on that one. The slider's a nasty pitch. Tends to be one of my weakest pitches to hit as well. So, it's good to see at least that is staying the same. Guy at first is getting a pretty good lead. Oh, why did the first baseman not go for that? That's easy extra bases. It went right down the line. That is another RBI. Oh, I was thinking about going three, but as slow as Timmy Timmons proved to be earlier, I didn't necessarily want to risk it. Three hits in my first professional game it is 11 to nothing. It's another RBI. Wow. I am liking how this is going. This is how you want to play some baseball. All right. So, like I was saying, I'm kind of excited to play with the Mets, try and see if I can help the team out quite a bit. Now, as a player, you can actually do that besides just performing. One of the things that you can do is um, when you kind of get to a certain level, you can kind of recommend free agents for your team to pick up. So, basically, you as a player can kind of construct a team based off of what's available in the free agency. So that'll be kind of cool for us to you know, kind of go through and maybe potentially rebuild this team. I want to play a lot of games um, with Timmy Timmons, but I know it's going to be kind of tough um, since you really have to play every single game because obviously you've been able to see there's what's called skill points, and that's what you used to be able to purchase uh, improvements to your player, like will I hit better, uh, will I hit with more power, is my feeling going to improve, or my running ability is going to improve. Uh, so you have to play the games to get that. If you simulate it, you don't get it, which is kind of lame sauce uh, because at the same time, a baseball season has 162 games in it. So if there's 162 games, 
uh, about a 20-year career. That's a ridiculous amount of games, and there's no way that I'm going to play them all. Um, sorry, guys. I, I love playing baseball. I love playing the 360 and posting stuff on YouTube, but I've got a full-time job and a wife and a puppy. I don't know if I told you guys that, but anyway, high fly ball. It's going to be caught. That's going to go ahead and end the inning. So I didn't get any uh, base running points here on that, which would have been kind of nice because that seems to be the toughest thing to be able to get is those base running skill points. All right. So we are in the ninth inning now. And I'm still on first, which is good. Ah, oh, they scored a run. So it's 11 to 1 now. I'm kind of worried. Are they going to come back? I'm just kidding. Anyway, high fly ball. That's mine. That's going to end the game. So the first game with Timmy Timmons is a big win, 11 to one. I have a great game going three for five. Wow, that's a lot of skill points to get on your first game. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come. I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. This has been a lot of fun and I'm excited for the season ahead. Subscribe if you haven't already to be able to follow this, the franchise mode, all of your request games and stuff like that that I'll be doing with MLB 2K12. So this is the beginning of something awesome. Again, thank you for watching guys. And as always, I hope you have a good one.